Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, we're going to do a little bit of a pack battle. Um, you guys probably see them here in the background. Wherever my finger is, I can never do this. <laughs> That's my brother. That's Cody. He's my little bro. He's uh, He's got a, a lot more of a personality than I do. We'll just say that. Uh, before we get started, <laughs> do we have four new cards in for the uh, for consignment? Sorry. <laughs> got a couple Lugias. Got a Shining Magikarp and a Shining Noctowl. With them being lower grades like that, you can probably get them for a decent price. But, you know, it's not really that bad of a grade. Like, you're looking at this in your collection, the value that you're going to get for an 8 versus a 10, as compared to the amount of damage you can actually find on it, usually uh, it's a lot better bang for your, your buck there. But the way we're going to do this battle is I'm going to start off, I'm going to open up this Pokemon 151 box. Roughly, what, $55 or so? I think Retrospects was advertising on his Instagram shipped $56. And then you could you might be able to get a little bit of a deal if you, you went with some bulk on those boxes. That's the U.S. seller. He's going to have it shipped to you. And then we're going to open up these. Look at that. So we got a Flash Fire Pack. This is the last one of the box. I figured, you know, why not? We've already pulled a Secret Rare, so basically no chance of doing that. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. That's a Heavy Fossil First Edition. I think we pulled Articuno. Maybe you'll pull a Dragonite, and maybe you'll pull a Magneton. Who knows, right? This is the lightest of the heavy Team Rocket packs, so I figured let's just open up the lightest one, see what happens. Hopefully there's a hollow. If there's not, then you know it is what it is. Maybe we'll pull an Arrow Dragonite. And then last, we have a heavy base set pack. Uh, we haven't opened up any from this box, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to check out the centering and the condition. But I'm going to let my brother open up these, so uh, we'll see how that goes. And... This should be very, very slanted because this is a $50 box and that's over $1,000 in packs there. Probably pushing close to $2,000 in packs. So we'll just see <laughs> how slanted it is. But I'm not going to open up, you know, the same value in 151 packs. That would that would just take a while. We're just going to open up the one box. I want to open it up, see if uh, there's anything cool in here. This is one of the boxes that had a little bit of damage to it. I didn't get this from Retrospects. Is uh, I did buy some from him and... Um, they were they were in good shape. This is what supposedly you know Japan added to make the new seal or whatever. I don't I usually don't do this, but that that that's the the best way that they could come up with I guess to authenticate everything. Now when we're opening these packs, people have said it before, but this little number here should be the same on all of them. When people said the, the number needed to be the same on all the packs, I was always looking at these numbers out here. I didn't realize there was something printed on the inside there. So if you ever get a box and say it doesn't have a Master Ball, if you go back through and check all the packs, as long as they have that little digit, everything's the same, then you just had bad luck. <laughs> but if there's something different there, then uh, maybe it was resealed. I haven't ran into really anything resealed so far with 151. But we should get nine hits in this box. It's usually fairly consistent. We're going to start off with the secret rare. Was that Bill's analysis transfer? I don't even remember what it is. We got a reverse hollow Vaporeon, so that that might be the big hit of the box. We'll just see. Maybe we'll get a God Pack. That'd be a lot more fun. Pack number two. We have a Golem EX. Y'all, y'all might be shouting in the the comments if I just blaze through these reverse hollows and forget to check for the, the master ball i assume those prices have come down with the price of the box coming way down but i really don't know had a few people reach out wanting to consign a full master ball reverse hollow set it's not really something that i do but it's kind of interesting because i wonder how many people pursue that you know i'm sure there are people who just want the the complete set as is not have to construct it but there's a lot of fun especially with a set like this in making a binder set or even if you don't do a binder just trying to construct it all there's one of the art rares and then we also have a uex i think i recently sold the blastoise the um the art rare one from this set it was graded like a, man, I want to say it was a 10. Maybe it was only a 9.5, but it was only like $48 or something. So that is, the, I believe the cards have definitely seen a significant hit to their price. So far, no Master Ball. Let's 
going Japanese modern, basically overprinted set versus <laughs> as old as you can get heavy, heavy packs. But when we pulled that bill in the very first pack, that kind of did away with a lot of the, the chances of were the, the biggest portion of having a chance at beating it out in the pack battle because we wanted that Charizard. But, I mean, I think you can still hit a God Pack with 151 even after you've hit an, an SR. So we'll see. You know, it's a chance, right? I'm hoping my brother pulls a Charizard EX. Nice looking Poliwhirl with the Art Rare there. From the flash fire dragonite or a gengar of course from fossil team rocket i want to pull the dark charizard holographic plus a dark dragonite no hollow error i think that'd be pretty sweet <laughs> and a charizard from the base set back with an error war turtle in the back that would be like s tier and there's another vaporeon so far no master balls Guess if we don't hit it, I'll have to go back and check all the packs. Nope, there it is. Got the Master Ball on the Pincer. Which I believe we should still have one more Art Rare. Maybe another EX, or maybe even two more EXs. Oh yeah, there's an Ivysaur Art Rare. And then we have an Alakazam EX. So Cody, if you don't know this... This was a reprint. I, I want to say it came out in 2023. It might have come out in 2022. I'm not even sure at this point what year it was. Yeah, it says 2023 on the back, so unless they just changed the, the copyright dates. Um, but it focuses only on the original 151 Pokemon. It's the first set to have all original 151 Pokemon in the set, at least for like a regular mainstream set. We know we, you had that for like the Burger King set, but... That wasn't like a, a real TCG. Not like this anyways. And there was a lot of hype around it. These boxes it went up to over $200 a piece. And then they got hit with a reprint and they, they tanked. Down to around 50 bucks or so. I still think it's a great buy. Especially for the fun that you can get out of it. And then there's our last EX with Venusaur. So we'll recap everything. And then uh, I'm going to let my brother come in here. Hopefully he doesn't tear up these cards. <laughs> If you lose this pack battle, you're doing something wrong. Uh, it sounds about right, though. You know, Maybe do them in... I'll, I'll look back at our childhood. This might be the first time I ever beat you in anything. <laughs> oh, come on now. Let me see. Let me give it a shot. So All right. There, so is there any difference between the 151 that was first printed and then the reprint? Well, you couldn't get the first 151 Pokemon until you had the third set. Base set had one, had 69 Pokemon. And you have worn this chair down, dude. Is there any trick to opening these packs so I don't damage the cards, or would you rather me? Yeah, carefully. Carefully pull them out. I don't open packs every day. You've opened up packs before. Let's see. And if you do, they'll just make oh. fun of you. Yeah, it's all right. You already messed enough the wrappers. Just... Whatever, dude. Let's see what we got here. Open the cards a little, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that right there? What's I mean, he ain't there? worth probably like a quarter, but still, it was a heavy pack. Oh, <laughs> code. <laughs> All right. So, what's special about him? Is he worth anything? No, that's that, about twenty-five cents. Probably. That would be my guess. All right. They'll, they'll correct you in the comments. All Go right. to Team Rocket next. Team Rocket. If yeah. you don't get a hollow in that one, it's it's fine. So you said this one was a light one? Well, it's a 12th heaviest pack in the box, but Team Rocket has very close weights, so it could be a light, could be, could be a heavy. I don't know. Oh, man, I don't want to rip up the front of that. Yeah, so. you've already did it. Don't worry about it. I've already it. messed it up. So y'all might be wondering what it's like living in the shadow of uh, Rusty Oakley over here. It's cold. It's really cold, lonely. 
Oh, oh we got a hollow oh, magneton. Yeah, careful huh? that one. Check the okay. backside. Dark let's magneton. See. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, centering looks good. I don't see anything on the. That's a I don't big see any card print lines. Get the ten. How's that back look? I can't see it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I Dude, I don't do this, man. This ain't that sucker in a sleeve because that if that would get the ten, it's pretty low pop. Like it's very low pop. But if it doesn't get the ten, it's like. I'll tell you what we'll do. Thirty bucks for an eight. <laughs> after after <laughs> we go through these, off. you can come back and take a second look at these and uh, see anything I might have missed. Show them. Don't show me. I'm trying, brother. <laughs> All right. Look, if I threw you on a construction site and said, "Hey, go go do some ocean inspection," you'd be flopping around like a fish, man. And said, so "This is I'm not right. in that, I'm not I'm not, not in that element here." Tamper evidence. Your tamper yeah. evidence uh, outlet. Apparently, that's required now. I was watching you just bust into those other packs. I forgot with these old ones, you really gotta really gotta. These old ones are easy. You gotta sweet talk them. What are you talking about? Yeah, those are the easiest ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Japanese ones I'm are messed, like gummy. I messed up both of these, bro. What are you trying to say? Yeah. Those are easy. Let's right, see about. what we got. Have I won yet? Like, is that... Oh, it's we got another cool. hollow there. Yeah, that's a pretty cheap one. Yeah. I don't need to look at it. Show them. Center it on there. There you go. I'm trying, bro. They're watching. They, you gotta let them see. You can look at it all day. That's it. Anything there? Looks like you got a little you bit know, of something you on the edge there. You get a hollow in every pack, but I will say this. If, uh, if that magnetite doesn't hit a 10, that, even in a 10, that hit <laughs> ain't that great. <laughs> so, but I, you probably still beat that box. Cause... All right, you got a... Uh... So what you're saying is we won't know if I won until these get graded. Yeah. I, th <laughs> I, think, I think it was going to be an auto lose after that, that 151 box. Yeah. Well, let's see if I hit a... Maybe like a Clee Fairy or something on here. Yes, Clee Fairy. Clee Fairy. If you get a Clee Fairy, I hope that you get one with a big black dot on it. Is that like a... It's a known error. Or the heart. That Actually, that'd be better. With the heart, with a nice bold circle around the heart at the very top of it. What I'm hoping you don't do is pull out like this halfway centered All right. card. Take the cards off the camera. How do you... I'm sorry, dude. They're going to call dude. you out for cheating. Chill. I can't really see it much from here, but it does say stage in the top right. Uh, stage two, yeah. Okay. Bottom left, is it? Yeah, it's centered up, so like the centering is up on it. Do you see a red dot anywhere near the water energy? No, I don't see anything like that. No it's error. Like bottom left illustrator, is it? Very clear that it says Illustrator. Yeah, Illustrator. Yeah. All right, so this is just your standard Blastoise. I see that. It looks clean too. You got a couple. You got. I, th I think I see one dot up here in the top left. It's kind of hard to see. Not bad. Sleeve it up. If it was a Charizard, my reaction was just going to be. Now, did you? Well, did looky you, there. The last three uncommons. I didn't even see them. Just make sure it's not an error war turtle in there. You got to always check. Too gone. Yeah, far fetched. Well, All right, man. Well, I hope I didn't damage your cards up too bad. Did, did you click recording? <laughs> <laughs> Don't right, mess guys. with me like that, dude. That was my brother. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry y'all had to witness that. Yeah. It's probably his first time opening up vintage packs in a while, but he did all right, right? Yeah, you know, I'm not first time on YouTube, bro. <laughs> all right. I have, I, no, sorry. I have one video making sourdough bread. He did. He, but it got a lot of views. It's got like it's a crazy video. pattern on it, but. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I haven't had a bunch out lately. We'll try to get you some here and there. Uh, if you're interested in any heavy packs, if you go to buy a base set, know that a Blastoise has already been pulled. Doesn't mean another one can't be pulled, but probably likely that it will not happen. So uh, if you are interested in any of these, there's no more Flash Fire, but there are some Team Rockets, some Fossil, and uh, some base set left on the site. You guys have a great week. Thanks.